Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Welcome back to the draft, the Jesus draft, as he continues to fill out his team of his first apostles. It's so important for us to identify in sports that you win and lose through the draft. Your first round draft choices help to pick from the best of the best. The players that are going to help to put your team over the top to one day hopefully bring a championship and allow the sports franchise and its fan base and ownership group to celebrate with trophies, successes, and profits. On Team Jesus, Jesus chooses people that nobody else would think about. In fact, the players themselves don't even realize that they're being drafted. Here we see in the last part of John chapter 1, the call of Jesus for Philip and Nathaniel, who will later be called Bartholomew. Good for you. I was waiting to see if you knew that. So friends, where do we see Jesus scouting? In the temple? The most intelligent, those whom we expect him to choose, or does he surprise us? Let's read the passage together, verses 43 to 51. Jesus' scouting is very different from how others would scout. The next day he decided to go to Galilee and he found Philip. And Jesus said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true Israelite. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the sky opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. When you have a new sports franchise, especially in a city that may not be the most populous, the weather may not be the best, or perhaps the greatest of tourist attractions. With no championships, it might be hard to attract a free agent or a player to come and play for that team or that city. The two mentioned here are not known to Jesus from their perspective. But of course, because Jesus is God, he knows everything about them. But they don't know him. They don't know the fact that this invitation will transform their lives. For Philip, he's the one who brings Nathaniel to know Jesus. Philip hears the words, follow me, and like in the passage we studied yesterday, Andrew and Peter, or Simon Peter, did the same thing. For Nathaniel, he kind of goes kicking and screaming. Who is this guy? 
How do you know me? Jesus gives him an example of how he knew who he was. This is convincing for Nathaniel, and Jesus reminds him, oh, you're going to see much greater signs. We just heard the passage. Don't just stop there, brother. You're going to see a lot more. Stay tuned. How true this is in our life, too. Sometimes we hear the call of Jesus to follow him, and that isn't just a call to priesthood and religious life, friends. This call of Jesus calls us outside of our comfort zone and what we know to think differently, to love differently, to be more open, to allow us to come to know God at who he truly is. Sometimes we go kicking and screaming. We're comfortable with our vision of God. We don't necessarily want to know him more than what we see. We become stagnant in our faith. It can be easy for us to just be where we are as opposed to being where God wants us to be. For Nathaniel and the others, they will come to see signs from Jesus that point to him not just being a powerful human being, but being divine. And as I've said before, I'll say it again. The Gospel of John's purpose is to teach of the divinity of Jesus Christ. As Jesus now has made up his first group of apostles, that first third of them, that make up Team Jesus, it's important for us to realize he's picking ordinary people. He doesn't choose rich people. He doesn't choose highly educated people. He chooses ordinary people that he sees an opportunity in them, what I might call a diamond in the rough. While he's using a first-round pick, they're actually late-round picks. Somebody who nobody else would choose that the scouts of the world would never pick these guys as apostles, and yet that's exactly who Jesus targets. How many of us feel that because of our lack of catechesis and teaching and faith, perhaps our education level or income level, perhaps our status in life, the country we live in, the languages we speak, Whatever the case may be, that God couldn't use us to do great things as well. And yet, does he call the equipped or equip the called? For us, it's important to re-examine ourselves and realize, could I be the next Philip and Nathaniel? Could the next Philip and Nathaniel be my next-door neighbor or colleague at work? The kid I sit beside in class? Or the stranger. Jesus chooses his team differently than you and I might choose ours. And yet we do know the end of the story. He chose very well. But he also reminds us that God can use anyone so long as they open themselves up to truly come follow him. Lord, help us to follow you. We all want to be important members of Team Jesus in helping to bring your message and your kingdom to come, to be present. May your presence be palpable for us. May we feel you. May we hear your word. May we see you in our daily lives and help to transform us into the disciples that you are calling us to, just as you called Andrew Simon Peter, Philip, and Nathaniel. St. Philip, pray for us. St. Bartholomew, pray for us. For God's Playbook, friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, 
or GoFundMe. Thanks and God bless.